so I'm not too <laughs> The two Ronnies feature many times in Sticks and Tones, mainly because their sketches are perfect material for us to use. Sometimes we adapt them, sometimes we copy them. Many years, we would read the sketches from the book, Ronnie Barker, All I Ever Wrote, on our annual narrowboat trips. Don't I wish we were back in Blighton? Me, sir. Uh, uh. What about you, Bubble? You wish we were back in Blighton? Not sort of nice, sir. <laughs> the trenches of the First World War were comedy, two things that you wouldn't usually put together. In this sketch, we pay tribute to all those men who fought and served on the front line. Under heavy gunfire and constant bombing, you can imagine how hard it would have been for them to hear what each other was saying. I think you should get up a tray of biscuits. Oh, thank you, sir. I can just do one. Cup of tea and biscuits, sir. <laughs> this sketch did become a favourite with the band. Even today, seven years later, if someone says, "Go on, make a start." You can guarantee at least two or three people will say, Bake a tart. Oh, I've got one bake a tart. Bake a tart, eh? <laughs> The reason we decided to choose the Death in the Trenches sketch was because in 2014, it marked the 100 year anniversary of the start of World War One, And we wanted to do it justice. So we decided to go all out in costumes. So we found a costume hire place and we all went to be kitted out. We had such a good laugh trying on different costumes. But I think you'll agree that we look rather good at the end. Sounds good before we get the big guns. Big ones in the oven for us later, sir. Uh, guns, not bones. The guns. <laughs> Usually, it's the manly men amongst us that dress up as women. But for this sketch, I had to man up and opted for this extra disguise. Putting together death in the trenches was quite difficult actually and it was all about the timing. The timing of each individual person's lines and also which side of the stage was uh, due to speak and whether the lighting changed from side to side at the right time. Trying to remember your own words as well was quite tricky because some of the lines were so similar to uh, other people's lines that it made for your own particular cueing to be quite difficult. There was one time that I particularly started to speak because I thought that the other side of the stage had um, forgotten to say their last few words and so I brought in my next line and I think you can hear Sandy saying, <laughs> saying, please be quiet or shut up, I'm trying to speak. You know, which was hilarious really. <laughs> In the darkness, flashing lights, and loud cannon and gunfire, suddenly the whistle blew, signalling for us to go over the top. But as I attempted to climb out of the trench, my prop glasses slipped, blurred my limited vision, and I literally fell in a heap behind enemy lines. <laughs> As the troops go over the top and the poppies fall, you can hear Last Post being played by the one everyone loved, but now is sadly missed, Dave Lucas. So sit back and let's enjoy Death in the Trenches. You are. 